Beautiful. By failing to prepare, you are preparing to fail. Good old Benny Franklin. And that's why we find ourselves here, right? Because we don't want to prepare to fail by failing to prepare. We want to prepare to succeed, right? So prepare yourself. For multi-step conversions. Now, how do we do multi-step conversions? Well, it turns out that we can actually think of multi-step conversions as a series of single steps. So if you missed you know, part of the lesson on uh, single step conversions, metric to metric and metric to non-metric, take a look in the description below, I'll leave a link. So for this video, why don't we, I don't know, take a look at uh, converting two years into seconds. Right, so how do we do this? Well, it turns out that I always like to think uh, in terms of if I can figure this out in one step. In order to do that, if we want to convert from years into seconds, we need to know a relationship between how many years there are in a second or how many seconds there are in a year. Now, if we don't know that, well, that means that we cannot do this in a single step, right? Pretend you don't have Google because I'm sure you can plug it into Google and it'll tell you in one step. But let's say we don't have access to that, right? So we don't know that relationship between years and seconds. So what we have to do is we have to do this then in a series of multi-steps. And how I want to think about it is I have to go from a big unit of years, right? A year, One year comprises a lot of time, and a second comprises a small amount of time. So I know that I have to go from a larger unit down to a smaller unit, right? So the first thing I think about is, well, what do I know? Do I know any relationship between years and a smaller unit of time? And it turns out that we do, right? We know the relationship between, let's say, years and days. How many days are in a year? 365, right? So we can use that conversion value to get ourselves into days or get this conversion value into days first. So let's set it up, right? We write down the given value of two years. Then we're going to multiply it by that conversion fraction. We place in our units. Remember, the years want to cancel, so they're going to go on the bottom. We want to find days here, so they go on the top. Right? And then you're going to plug in the values. So for every one year, there's 365 days. Now, technically, there's 365.25, but honestly, who cares? So let's just do the multiplication out. So when you multiply that on out, notice the years cancel and we're left with days, right? How many days does that work out to be? Well, it works out to be about 730 days. Right, perfect. So now we've got days, right? So two years is equivalent to 730. 30 days. So now I'm thinking of, do I know a relationship between days and seconds? Meaning how many seconds there are in a day or how many days there are in a second? And it turns out I don't know that off the top of my head. So we can't go to seconds yet. Uh, but what we can do is we can go to the next smaller unit of time. Maybe we know a relationship between, I don't know, days and uh, hours, right? How many hours are there in a day? 24. So we can now do this conversion. We can convert 730 days into now hours. We can find the equivalent number of hours. So we set up our conversion, right? We're going to write down the given value. Now, the given value basically is the answer we got to the first part, right? So the 730 days, we write it down. We're going to multiply that by our conversion fraction. And then from there, what we're going to do is we put in the units, okay? Days on the bottom, we want them to cancel. Hours on the top. And we put our known relationship then. For every one day, there's 24 hours, right? Units cancel beautifully, and we notice now that we're going to be left with 730 multiplied by 24 which works out to about 17,520 hours. Okay, great. Now, we're not at seconds yet, but we're getting there. Next thing is, do we know a relationship now between hours, because that's what we have, and seconds? Now, some of you might know the relationship, but I don't. So I can't do that yet. So maybe I'm thinking of now going from hours to a smaller unit, not seconds yet, but maybe there's an intermediate unit there. Maybe I know the relationship between hours and minutes, right? How many minutes are there in an hour? 60. So once we know that relationship, we can now convert from then hours into now minutes. And it's the same process. We write down the given value, the 17,520 hours. And we're going to multiply that by our conversion fraction, right? We put in the units. We're going to have hours on the bottom, minutes on the top. For every one hour, there's 60 minutes. Notice how the hours cancel. And now we're going to be left with then our unit of minutes. And notice how when we multiply that across, right, we get a value of about 1,051,200 minutes. All right. So now 
we have minutes. And I'm still thinking, can I convert this into seconds finally? Do I know a relationship between minutes and seconds? And we do, right? We do. We know that there's 60 seconds in a minute. <clears throat> so what does that mean? That means that we can finally get the answer in seconds. So we write down that given value now. Remember, the given value is just the answer to that, I guess, third step, we would call it. So we're going to write down the 1,051,200 minutes. And we're going to look to convert that now into seconds. So, right, minutes on the bottom, seconds on the top. Old news now, right, for every one minute, there's 60 seconds. Notice the minutes will cancel. And now we're going to multiply those two values together. And we're finally going to arrive at a value of about 63,072,000 seconds. And finally now, we found the equivalent, right? So two years is approximately 63,072,000 seconds. And now we finally found our answer. So if you notice, right, if we just think about these multi-step problems as a series of single steps, almost like as if you were walking up a staircase, right, or down a staircase, you can only do it one step at a time. I mean, you could do it more steps at a time, I mean, you could fall down the stairs, but then, you know, you probably go to the hospital. So we don't want to do that here. We don't want to go to the hospital. So what we need to do is just do it as a series of single step conversions. All right. And it's really not that bad. So you can do all these multi-step problems as basically just a series of single steps. All right. So thank you so very much for tuning in. I appreciate it. I really enjoy these lessons and I hope you do as well. And uh, feel free to check out some of our other stuff. I'll see you soon. I need some more sugar.